Hi, I'm Dave Seaver of Mind Alive. There's been a lot of buzz going around the last couple of years about using gamma entrainment uh, for the treatment of Alzheimer's. Well, I should let you know that uh, we have been treating Alzheimer's since 2004, not using gamma, mind you, but using typically randomized audiovisual entrainment in the SMR beta bands. Now, the original study was done by Tom Budzinski and Leslie Sherlin when they were doing a study of cognitive decline in two seniors' homes in the Seattle area. And this one lady who had severely progressing Alzheimer's, and she was also quite young at only the age of 57, and uh, she was shuffling around in the seniors' home, um, quite lost. And uh, they put her on entrainment along with the other uh, seniors in the group. And after 30 sessions, she moved out of the seniors' home and moved back into her own home and could walk through downtown Seattle and not get lost. So, how is this happening? Well, one of the things I've been talking about for a long, long time has to do with what I call a thalamocortical disconnect. And a thalamocortical disconnect is a post-inflammatory condition that we often see after a concussion or a viral infection in which there is inflammation. And in the process of a thalamocortical disconnect, it seems to affect neurotransmitters, uh, lactate, ATP. There's a process called reactive gliosis, and in the process it seems to gate off the thalamus from the cortex. And the cortex is the skin of our brain, you know, and the thalamus is, is a structure down below. Why is this important? Well, the thalamus is part of an oscillator that uh, works with the cortex, and it is, it is the part of the brain that works with the cortex for making alpha waves. And we know alpha waves are very, very important to help reduce anxiety and to uh, synchronize brain function in general. So everything works in harmony, just like uh, the members of a band will play in accordance to the drummer. If everybody's playing at their own beat, then it it's just sounds terrible and nothing worthwhile gets done. And the same thing is for memory retrieval and, memory, and also processes that go on in the brain all the time. And we need to have a drummer that can synchronize all the different parts of the brain so they're all gated together and they can release memories, form memories, and do executive functioning. So what we have found with a thalamocortical disconnect is that the, the thalamus gets gated off and these people cannot make alpha for the life of them. And we have tried all kinds of ways to get a person to naturally make alpha and they cannot. Also, delta waves are part of the same oscillator, just slowed down. Now, this is important for Alzheimer's because astrocytes, normally, uh, they are the, uh, the cleaner-uppers in the brain. They, they do the cleaning, and, but they only do the cleaning in presence of large delta waves, which are present in deep stage four sleep. So, these people cannot make alpha waves or delta waves, and therefore, the, the cleaners, the astrocytes, don't clean up all the deposits that form in the brain during the day, uh, all the minerals, all the plaques and things like this. And so they build up in the brain over time. So what we have found though is using entrainment, uh, and typically it needs to be randomized, typically more in the SMR um, and beta bands, and we typically split our fields of our eyes, so we run SMR more to the right brain and beta more to the left brain. And in doing this process, it seems to really excite those circuits in the brain and typically in 15 to 20 minutes we will start to see alpha rhythms reappear in the parietal area of the brain back here where they belong and then they will start to spread into uh, all the other areas of the brain over five or ten minutes span and when this happens the uh, client typically falls into a deep sleep right in the chair while we're running our recording and, and they will sleep for half an hour uh, and then that night they will typically sleep eight to ten hours that night uh, and the, the effect lasts for a couple of days and, in the, and then it starts to revert back. So if they take a unit home and use it every morning, uh, they can remarkably uh, get back to normal functioning quite quickly. Now in the case of this Alzheimer's lady who was in the seniors home, when we look back at the data, I mean at the time when in 2004 when this was done, we weren't aware of this concept called the thalamocortical disconnect. So we look back into the data, sure enough, this lady did not have any alpha wave production, meaning also she would not have delta wave production either. And the entrainment stimulated it back in, the astrocytes woke up, they cleaned out all the debris, 
and she had a normally functioning brain after that. I'm Dave Seaver of Mind Alive. Thanks for listening.